Hello fellow problem solvers, so today we're going to be doing a problem from the Romanian Masters of Mathematics 2013, problem number one. I suggest you try this creative problem out for a minimum of 10 minutes, ideally an hour to an hour and a half, but not more than two and a half, three hours. If on the other hand you'd like to go along with us, I suggest you give it a go for the next 15 minutes. So now, without further ado, let's begin. So this is a simple question. It's asking if there exists an infinite sequence, a1, a2, all the way till infinity, such that AM and AN are relatively prime if and only if their absolute difference is one. Now, the first thing that you would try to do here, at least me, is like, okay, let me see how you can maybe construct such a sequence. And the only thing that really matters is prime factors. So let's say there's like P1, that's a prime factor, two, three, four, five, and so on. So now we have A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, and so on. So let's say A1, we give it P1 then we need to give every other number p1, okay? Now a2 cannot have p1, so it needs to have p2. a3 can't have it. And then a4, a5, and every other number needs to have p2. Okay, so far so good. a3, what about that? Hmm. Well, it, we have a problem with a3 because a3 and a4 now both have p1. So we can't really do that. Maybe we give another number here and now we switch it like let's say a4 has p3 a6 has p3 and now i think a3 and a4 are good i think oh yes a similar problem will happen with p2 so let's give it another prime number and let's x this one out here and we have this so now is this good enough like what do we need here a3 has going to have p1 it's going to have maybe let's give okay let's give it one more is that enough now? A4, it only has P2 so far. Actually, actually it has P2 and P3 because of these two numbers. It doesn't have P4, it doesn't have P5. Um, is that enough? Um, it seems so for now. Oh no, it's not because <laughs> the, all the other numbers like the number A7 won't have anything in common with it. So we need to give it another number. And now I invite you here to pause for another like, you know, 10, 15 minutes and see if you can work this out into an idea. Here's the next step. So now, once you lay out these numbers in a grid, it seems like there's a very simple construction here. You know, P1 and P3, give it to A1. Then A2, give P3 and P4. And then, you know, you switch between these two for like the next neighboring twos. And then you have P3, P4. And then again, you switch around. Then you give P5, P6, and then again, you switch around with the other ones, like you don't need to touch A1 anymore. You're just giving every number the bare minimum. And I think like if you just construct this, you know, inductively thinking about constructing this, you'll be good. And now, you know, let's construct these numbers. Like how do we formalize this? Like what is the easiest way to sort of formalize this thing? And if you haven't come up with this, I invite you to pause for another, you know, five, 10 minutes and try to like formalize this in a way that you would find comfortable. And here's the formalization. So. You know, let's just like, you know, it's odds and evens is what we care about here. So let's like make instead of like P1, P2, P3, P4, let's make it P1, Q1, P2, Q2, and so on and so forth. And now we know how to construct a n. Now it's going to be a lot easier. So if n is even, let's like do even and odd. A two n is going to be what? It's going to be the product of how many numbers? Well, if it's even, like look at four. 4 is the product up to Q1. So Q1 is for 4. A6 is up to, what does that mean? Q, uh, P3, Q3, P4, Q4. Okay, so 6 has up to Q4. And now what does 8 have? A8. It's going to have up to how many numbers? Like, work it out for yourself and then here's, how, here's the write up, really. This is a way to formalize that, and now we just check that everything is good, you know, good, 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 good. Um, this is for, you know, t squared than or equal to 1, and everything is good. Everything is rock and roll and good. In every single one of these cases, t squared than or equal to 1, and we are done. Uh, this was a problem, really, and I just wanted to show, like, this way of, you know, what's enough? Primes are enough. For these numbers it's enough for us to look at the primes and then you, know, you just try it out you try to construct it iterative, iteratively 
and you get <laughs> this sort of pattern. And then it's a matter of like, how do you formalize it? Well, it's easier to have like two sets of primes and you do it and you're done. Uh, this was our problem and as always, thanks for problem solving.